How I make my YouTube videos. Well, first I film something. The more light, the more clear the video is going to be. That's the important thing. Unfortunately, I'm in the house now and there's not much light. But secondly, I use Canon ZR series cameras. The mini digital video cameras that take the small one hour tape. The models I use are ZR100 to 200 to 300. The only difference is they have a few more features if you buy a 300. They're stereo and the sound quality is very good. Now I chose this model because they're, they fit in my pocket so I hop on my motorbike and I take off to do scenes or I'm going someplace or in my coat pocket on my snowmobile. When I fold the viewing window down, it fits right in, no problem. They're also pretty durable. These cameras I have have been never looked after. They get so much abuse and they keep on ticking. Now I chose this particular model for the main reason which is this feature that you can see on the screen that I've got it set up for. It's called VCR setup. These kind of cameras, even if they don't record tapes or play anymore because they're broken, this feature still works. You can put any kind of audio or video input into the camera from an analog source or an old type of camera that's not digital or a radio, a VCR, anything like that and it will convert it to real-time really good quality digital video for the computer. Where the firewire plug is the audio video output, that little yellow thing, becomes an input when you set it on that setting. And then you just plug one of these microphone type cables that most cameras come with which contains your stereo sound and your video signal into there and you can even take the signal from a DVD player out its analog RCA ports run it through this camera convert it to digital and store the file on your computer and it has a little bit of quality loss but in no way can any copyright stuff on that disk stop you. It allows you to do this. That's cool. You don't need a cheater program or anything. I even have some old 8mm non-digital video cameras that I use. I just plug them into my Canon camera, convert them to digital, and put them on my YouTube videos too. It doesn't matter how old your camera is or what kind of VCR or DVD player or whatever you want to use. You can run it on your computer when you have one of these cameras. Now because I'm real cheap, I buy these cameras on eBay from, for $15 to $25 US. There's certain problems that they have that are very easy to fix and that's a secret. I fix them for free without even taking them apart. Just just takes me a couple seconds. So I get a camera that originally cost new $400 and I get that camera for $15 to $25. So I've actually got seven of them. So when I want to download my videos to the computer. As soon as I plug my camera into the firewire into the computer, this screen pops up and I usually choose record windows, record videos using Windows Movie Maker. Just like that. Since this model of camera was originally invented in 2002, it still uses the firewire method. More modern cameras nowadays actually use USB 2.0, but my computer's too old. I don't have that. I need to update my BIOS. So it really doesn't matter what brand of video camera you have. If you if it costs more than two or three hundred dollars and it's mini digital or any kind of digital video, it's going to make as clear a picture on YouTube as my camera does, whether it's a thousand dollar camera or a two hundred dollar camera, and I'll show you how. Now that we got the computer running on Windows Movie Maker, we choose Capture Video. This screen comes up. You can title it if you want, but or you can just skip. Next screen comes up. This is the most important one. For the most important setting when making a movie is choose high quality large. I'll show you what I mean. First click on this set you know thing that says other settings then you go up and down here you choose high quality large this has a huge advantage for playing back on your computer if you want to watch your videos later 
is then you can watch them full screen and they're really clear and when you send them to YouTube they convert the best and you get pictures on your videos that are just as clear as mine are so click next and capture parts of the tape manually you'll see what I mean the next screen that's what I select So here we are, ready to download. So I click on Start Capture. My movie's on the screen on the computer. And when I'm done recording as much scene as I want, I click on Stop Capture, right below it. Then when my next scene comes up, whatever that may be along the tape, I just click on Start Capture again simple as that. I can do that as many times as I want and it seamlessly puts all those scenes together well maybe almost perfect my videos aren't that great but it's not bad so when you're all done you click on finish wait for the box to shut down and it puts your whole movie together just like that there it is and it's saved in the file on my computer called my videos you can also edit your video by clicking on import video then one of these boxes comes up and you've got all kinds of videos then you can go through your whole video file of scenes you've made from other videos or scenes you've made just recently and click on one import it and it sends it to the main screen on your Windows program then you can click and drag it set it the box at the bottom and start putting a whole bunch of them at the box at the bottom just like I showed you in whatever order you want then when you've got all these boxes filled up as many as you need to to make your video you go to save to my computer right here and click on that give it a title hit next choose you want to be rent choose that you want it to be rendered in high quality large just like before hit next and the computer starts putting it all those scenes together and making a movie for you that simple and you can put any kind of format in those boxes. It puts, it puts them all together and makes it into high quality large. Then click finish when you're done. Simple as that. See? Now we made a movie. In no way is Windows Movie Maker the best way to do this. But it sure is one of the easiest ways to do it. And if you have XP or newer program operating system on your computer, you already have this program it comes with XP so it's that simple you can add audio soundtracks to it and you can add different scene blends and so much stuff I just don't have the time to do all that so my videos are pretty crude but enjoyable anyways cool <laughs>